Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Graphic Multiverse. I'm your host, Paul, joined with Chandler. Hello. It's been a there. while. <laughs> yeah, hello there, been there, while there, all the there there. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Sorry, I have like all this, like for some reason, all of a sudden, all of my hair has now decided to like go into my face and oh, in no. my mouth. Is it time for a ponytail moment? I haven't moment? cut my hair... Oh, maybe. I haven't cut my hair in since January of 2020, so this is all, like... Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Um, You can, like, carbon date this hair, and uh, <laughs> I sometimes, I, like, still don't know what to do with it. Like, do you know how many times I've had to pull hair out of my mouth because I was, like, <laughs> choking? I can't relate. It's like, oh... <laughs> I'd love to, though. Oh, like, this is fi- this thing in the back of my throat, and it's like... <laughs> hairballs you know, now. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. And it's like, oh, I like what you did with your hair. I'm like, yeah, that's just a streak of mustard. <laughs> you know, mm. when I was briefly choking. <laughs> so that's new with me. What's new with you? Um, not much. Just uh, you know, living, not dying. Um, and I don't want the name to... of the game in 2022. Exactly. I don't want to do the big W, which is work. But you know, work's cool. Um, oh yeah. Yep. I've been spending a lot more time um, just learning to relax and enjoy my free time, explore my city mm-hmm. more, do more activities. I've been doing oh, comedy shows. Um, it's been great. Also, oh, some more nice. some traveling to like light some light traveling to see some family and friends. Um, yeah, it's been pretty good. Since... You are way more adventurous than I am. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been home in like almost well 2019. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, about three years. Mm-hmm. Three years, and that's just because I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of like paranoia I mean, will we ever... pandemic, and like you know, they're still kind of suffering the aftermath and the shadow of that. So I get it. Well, you know, I've known a few people who have been vaccinated and boosted, mm-hmm. got COVID, and it was a pain in the ass for them. Like they still had a rough time. Yeah, my dad actually got and that, and he's had all three. Yeah. That was actually pretty scary. Like, but he's good. Uh, yeah, I mean, and then it makes you wonder, fuck, what would this have been like without the boosters? Right, right. And the vaccine, yeah. like, dead. Well, hopefully not. But hey, skirting. I for mean, sure. uh, uh, yeah, I mean, or at least like a long recovery time, or like I got through it, but uh, I don't have any sense of taste mm-hmm. or smell. I also don't know where I am right now. <laughs> like, just. I'm time Total. blind. <laughs> yeah, malfunction. Like, what's the last thing you remember? Well, I just saw Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Whoa. And it was Christmas time, and it's like, yeah, whoa is right. Like, wow, we have a lot of catching up to do. Mm-hmm. Good news, Return of the King is on uh, Blu-ray. Oh. You can go watch it. Oh. And like, oh, great, what's a Blu-ray? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you play it on your it's like a PlayStation real back to the Three moment. <laughs> yeah, because they didn't have Blu-rays in two thousand two. Guess not. I remember. I remember there was the Blu-ray HD. Oh yeah, the War of war, HD DVD. That? Yeah, yeah. Red versus blue. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Good, Good times. times. <laughs> Good times indeed. Yeah, there's been a lot going on since. I think May first, I think, was like the last time. Yeah, we should have made a timeline. Yeah. I know things we missed. <laughs> I'm actually going through the chat just to see, like, I know because I know sometimes I'll post some news, uh-huh. which I don't know if it's worth talking about at this point because it's like a month old. But let's see. Um, oh, there was the announcement of El Muerto, the oh. uh, the movie that's coming out about that one Spider-Man villain mm-hmm. who's in like. Or one Spider-Man character that's in two issues. Yeah, very obscure, but um, digging deep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm happy for the res- for the um, representation. Mm-hmm. So that happened. Um, there was the conclusion of Moon Knight. Yes. I think we started talking about Moon Knight. Mm-hmm. Um, so we can, uh, you know, talk about that real quick. What did we think of Moon Knight? 
yeah, I really liked it. I mean, I didn't really know what to make of it when I first started watching it, but, you know, I think as the plot progressed and we learned more about the characters, as with many storylines, you know, you just kind of, it just kind of grows on you. And, yeah, I mean, yeah. if anything, it was a very pretty show. <laughs> You know, I thought I was kind of in like the B category. Like I would give it a B. I thought mm-hmm. the ending was abrupt, but um, I started watching it again. I rewatched the first four episodes because mm-hmm. um, Angela's sister um, has started watching, it, and I was like, eh, I mean, I'll, I'll 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 jump in with you guys, and I really enjoyed it a lot more on a second viewing. Mm. Um, maybe just because I maybe because I don't I didn't have to wait a week in between, mm-hmm. and I was kind of seeing things yeah. that i wasn't seeing before yeah. but um there's like a lot of like confusion i like, like it like, steven like, clouding with like speculation so like now like, the speculation's out of the window you can just enjoy it for what it is right yeah um and um you know and i know a lot of people were upset that was it um what is it uh, jake lockley wasn't making an appearance and then he did at the very very end yeah um you know but then when you rewatch the show you see that you know jake lockley's been there since the beginning yeah you know, that's kind of the, the the beauty of hindsight when you go back and you're like, oh, okay. Um, because, you know, Mark and Steven would black out and they would come back and, you know, you know, uh, was it me? would be like, oh, Mark, did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do next. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, I don't know, I, I actually like the reveal about how, you know, he was responsible for his little brother. Yeah, and that accident, and and his mom never recovered, and so yeah, Stephen Grant became the persona to shoulder the yeah that the was trauma. A really like sad. I was actually I was more sad than I thought I would be. It was kind of like the birth of the altar, and it was just like oh my god, and like you know yeah. every time he's like super stressed, well, he comes back. It's like oh man, yeah, and I think it's I like that they it it seems to me like they did their research with the. Um, like disassociative identity disorder Mm -hmm. where it's you know a really traumatic moment happens when you're young and your brain responds with this is too much let's create another personality Mm -hmm. um so i'm glad it it wasn't just like because in my mind when i first read moon knight it felt like it was kind of crazy for the sake of being crazy like because, I mean moon knight had been around for a while but i remember in 2008 2009 Mm -hmm. Right around Civil War, there was a new Moon Knight, and it sort of just felt like, what if, like, Ed Norton from Fight Club was a superhero? Yeah, a lot more sensational sensationalization when it's, like, you know, actually very, you know, traumatic for people. So I'm glad they kind of, like, used that lens. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, and uh, I like the idea of different altars, different suits. Yeah. You know, like, uh, you know, Steven's got the three-piece. And... I do feel like that was kind of wasted on Steven because he's such, like... He's such, like, an adorable person, and he gave him, like, the badass outfit. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But who knows? Maybe he'll grow into it. Because I think... Because that was, uh, like, the Warren Ellis run, I think, where the whole Mr. Knight three-piece yeah. suit thing came from, and he's kind of, like, a detective. So who knows? Maybe Steven will... I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It was cool to see, though. And, but I remember thinking, like, there's going to be some fan out there who's going to be really upset mm-hmm. that, that fan... they didn't get the, you know... <laughs> that fan was me. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> sell me the fantasy. <laughs> but yeah, but well, maybe at some point we'll let's do like uh like a a, a Moon Knight deep dive because I don't, I can't recall too much enough to, to dedicate an entire episode to it. Okay. Other than, I liked it. Mm-hmm. And then around that time too, we also got the official trailer for She Hulk. Yeah, people were and. That was something. I was, I mean, I was pretty jazzed about it. I mean, I think, I mean, I read the, and I, I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. I only read one run of She Hulk, and that was a Charles Soule run, where it was like kind of like quirky office comedy kind of thing. And I'm like, I love this. This is great. So I kind of feel like they're kind of going that well, route. So yeah. And I'm actually okay with that. It was just the CGI that kind of has me worried. I just yeah. feel like it didn't look as polished the way other Disney Plus. Marvel productions have looked and the mm-hmm. only thing I could think of is that you know this according to my timeline this was May 17th my and birthday. we're getting the show in like what my birthday <laughs> happy belated birthday thanks <laughs> oh oh if I had scrolled down I, I would have seen that we wish you a happy birthday 
<laughs> oh, well. Um, happy birthday. Thank you. I hope it was good. It was great. Um, yeah, and... Um, Oh yeah, and I also see I I I put, I put right after sharing that trailer, I I posted uh, the opening to Shrek where it's like All Star. Oh, rude! Because that's the first <laughs> thing I thought of when like I saw her. Um, but again, you know, maybe 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 the production the CGI wasn't finalized. Yeah, I mean, I like a song yeah, hedgehog moment maybe, where we're like, oh god, we got to fix this. <laughs> You know, and that's why I'm really happy that the Sonic movies are doing well because they listened, mm-hmm. and it wasn't like fan service. Mm-hmm. It was like now they they're they're like really upset. And did you see the new Chip and Dale movie? Um, I saw the trailer. It looks really fun. <laughs> I heard they had the actual oh, the original human teeth Sonic in there. <laughs> it's hilarious. That's so great. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm I'm like really happy they did that. Mm-hmm. It's just it's it's hilarious. And I, I I thoroughly enjoyed it. And there's a ton of other easter eggs in there too, but that awesome. was uh Chef's Kiss. Mm-hmm. And I think in the credits, too, he's listed as Ugly Sonic. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Um, yes. But, um, yeah, so she hope. I mean, I, I, I mean I, I'm mean, i excited. I'm going to see it um, because, of course, I will. Um, and, you know, I'm all for representation and all for whatever this new lineup of Avengers is going to be. Yeah. Because you know there's going to be a new big bad. Mm-hmm. You know, Tony's dead. Steve's old. Mm-hmm. Hawkeye. Hawk guy. I mean, he's still out there, mm-hmm. but he might be. I don't know. I feel like a lot of the Hawkeye show was kind of him passing on the mantle to Kate Bishop. So yeah, but we'll see. But but then you know, there's also the announcement uh, about um, Disney Plus doing a Daredevil series mm-hmm. with Charlie Cox. So that's exciting. Yeah, if they bring Very back excited everybody, about that. Yeah, I love like a well-budgeted Netflix, former Netflix series. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you also got Leslie Jones to star in um, what was it like an adult animated comedy series from Warner Brothers Animation? What was it like Plastic Man? Yeah, that's, that's I guess she's gonna be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, clearly oh, that. Uh, yeah. Right, exactly. Exactly. And that... Oh, and then the the Joker sequel. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> was it rumored to be a Which, musical? <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. And yeah. there's talk about Lady Gaga playing Harley. I mean, I'll watch it. I love Lady Gaga. <laughs> I'm a, I, mean, I do, too. And, and it's like a... I guess... And the it's like Joker, like, fully... Uh, doa? <laughs> It's French. I guess. I guess it, it translates to like a condition where like two people sharing the same dream mm-hmm. or like fantasy or illusion. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, maybe. I mean, it would make sense if she was Harley, because that sounds like that's what it would be, right? If the two of them are buying into the same delusion. Yeah. So, there's that. Oh, and there was the Black Adam trailer, which um, did <laughs> I liked nothing. It, for it me. was very. I thought it was very camp. Yeah. I, I'm really excited to see it. <laughs> I mean, listen again. I'm gonna go see it, mm-hmm. and I love The Rock, and I think The Rock as the as Black Adam could be really cool. I think you know what I think kind of threw me off mm-hmm. is like w- how many other superheroes you saw in the trailer, like you mm-hmm. know Doctor Fate, mm-hmm. and you know Adam Smasher, Adam and Cyclone. Yeah, like like I think I don't know. Part of me is just like I get you're trying to catch up with Marvel, mm-hmm. but like just. Yeah, make it organic. Just do a Black Adam. Yeah. Unless they... Oh, excuse me. Ah! <laughs> I, worked, I worked a 10-hour day. I think it would have been cool if it was just listening. Dr. Fate as like a supporting character. You know, kind of keep it in magic. Egyptian, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was kind of like, oh, we're like the dark... We're like Justice League dark <laughs> on the side yeah. or something, you know. Um, it'd be kind of funny if, like, if that was all of the after credit scenes mm-hmm. or just in the trailer <laughs> yeah oh oh and then you know we had george perez passed away mm-hmm. tim sale passed away um all of the uh and that all the illegal controversy with the flash and also amber heard as Mara. oh my god yeah. 
That's right. How could I forget? Maybe because I blocked it. I mean, yeah, I was getting so it. tired of hearing about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, and yeah. I was like, oh, Ezra Miller causing a scene again. He caused um, many different scenes. <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah. And and while they're not going to recast him in the Flash because that would be impossible and expensive, because they basically had to like just reshoot the movie. Yeah. From what I understand, it sounds like they will not be moving forward with Ezra and whatever production comes next. Yeah. Which maybe they could do like um I don't know, maybe take a page from No Way Home mm-hmm. where like you have like a different actor playing Flash and it's just like a different universe. Like maybe he merged with Yeah. I do think it's kind of like it's unfortunate that they're going through with it. I understand like the monetary issue but like also you kind of have to like take a stand you know i don't know i don't want to be like social justice warrior yeah today, but you know it's just like you know like it sends a kind of the wrong message to kind of go through with it but no i totally agree listen yeah. that you're in a safe place to be a social justice warrior <laughs> i'm a social justice capitalist you know? actually <laughs> oh right yes um so i mean who knows yeah. um i mean that um not who knows. We know. We know that. Uh, yeah, the 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 mix the mixed signals it's sending. Yeah. You know. Um, and then you kind of get like the the other side of it. Like, well, we just spent all of this fucking money. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and also, like that movie got pushed back how many times? I feel like that's but yeah, that movie was delayed like many years ago. Yeah, because I feel like part of it was COVID, and then a part of it was reshoots and mm-hmm. I don't know I want it to be good but a part of me also just kind of wants DC to just clean slate mm-hmm. start over yeah I also think it's kind of like interesting like how like you know I know COVID kind of caused a lot of delays but also I think executive meddling is also probably a huge issue for like all the reshoots oh and I think it's like a very yeah. like expensive lesson for like producers and executives like you know stop messing with stuff because this stuff can happen and you can run out of time and now you have to like lose all this money you know like just you know stick yeah. to a plan you know right and also i mean yeah it makes you wonder like did we not like because obviously the script had to been at least decent for you guys to green light it right. you know so were we not happy with like performances were we not happy with mm-hmm. you know i've you know or like was like the like the was it like a like a did it get a poor score from like a test audience like yeah. i'm just i don't know that's why you gotta love independent film <laughs> yeah for sure <laughs> you know it's on a shoestring budget mm-hmm. but it's a singular vision mm-hmm. it's passion you know, and scotch uh, tape that's what it's held together with i mean dude i mean look at look at tarantino man yeah i mean he started off independent yeah. you know did you ever see buffalo 66 i have not that's a good independent film. Okay. And it's indie and it, it shows, but I but I love it. But mm. I saw um Tangerine, which was like completely shot on an iPhone, which I thought was so awesome. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen Tangerine. Yeah. Um that amazes me because I feel like nothing looks good on my iPhone. Mm. No, that was <laughs> like, so pretty damn good. <laughs> I feel like you'd have to buy the most expensive iPhone with the with the most like memory. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or just, like, then, shuttle your stuff off the phone at the end of each, like, <laughs> scene or shoot or day. For real. Yeah. Got to do a dump on a, on a hard drive. Yeah. Upload it to Google Photos. Mm-hmm. Um, which is something that I do love, by the way, about Google Photos. If I take a picture, it automatically goes up in the up in the cloud. Mm-hmm. But I don't know why I'm promoting Google, because they're not sponsoring this episode. Unless they want um, to. Yeah, for real. Mm-hmm. Hey, girl, hey, if you're listening. Mm-hmm. Um... I did hear some interesting news, though, uh, speaking of, like, um, not speaking of, because we um, didn't talk about this for a couple of minutes, uh, but going back to Disney+, Plus, um, I guess there's talk about there being, like, a, a, a Wonder Man show coming to Disney+. Plus. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll watch it. And that, um, <laughs> hell yeah, and that um, Wanda might be in it. Ooh, interesting because wanda and wanda and wonder man they were an item mm-hmm. and a lot of the a lot of uh in the comic anyway a lot of visions um personality or like neural 
brain Pathways patterns or yeah. whatever yeah we're modeled after wonder man so interesting so yeah i don't know we'll see um who knows and maybe white vision will come back i hate calling him that but i don't know what else <laughs> to call him i guess well, i guess i could just say vision yeah I'm, right i mean he's the only living copy right gotta now be white right <laughs> yeah um but yeah i don't know i but it, it could be it could be cool um okay. We can't forget about um, and Ms. Marvel. And that was Marvel. my poor attempt at Miss Marvel. Yeah. Yes. I like Miss Marvel. What is it, two episodes we're in yeah, now? Yeah, I think it's great. I think it is too. Um, and I know it's, I think right now it's like the lowest performing. Yeah, I think. Um, Disney Plus show. Yeah, I think that's just kind of like but a headline kind of thing. Lois, yeah, when you hear lowest performing though, that's like when a movie bombs. Like, oh, they only made like fifty one million. I'm like, oh, boo, fucking who? You made fifty one million, that, and you're you're considering that a flop, right? You know, it's like it also it's like it's targeting it's, it's like targeting its intended audience. I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah, no, 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 no. You're I I I I agree, and I feel like, you know, when you when you hear like the numbers like oh like only seventy seven million tuned in in the first week, I'm like, oh, only seventy seven million, right, like, right, right. See, that's the problem with capitalism, right? You always mm-hmm. have to, like, top what the previous fucking thing did. All right. Growth or die. And it's like you yeah. don't. Yeah. Just let things be good. Yeah. And enjoyable. Not everything has to be, like, a cultural event. Right. You know, it's like everybody's trying to make the next Dark Knight. Or, you know, like, whatever, whatever big movie, you know, it's like, okay, we have to copy this, like, exact. Yeah, I was actually watching like this really random interview about Free Guy with um you know Ryan Reynolds and Jodie Comer, and like they were saying like in the beginning like, this is like probably like the first like original IP film that's not an adaptation of something else for like a very long time. <laughs> it was yeah. like, oh, yeah. so it's like you know the Hollywood formula of like you know if it's guaranteed to make money, go for it, as opposed to taking a risk on like new oh, ideas. It's... Yeah. It's true. I mean, no, that's totally it. Because I remember uh, somebody um, on Facebook saying, like, oh, Hollywood just run out of ideas. And I had to say, it's not Hollywood. Mm-hmm. There's there's ideas out there. It's just yeah. nobody wants to fund them. Right. You know, it's like it's either it's, it's either it's independent or somebody decides to turn it into a novel instead or, like, a comic book because, mm-hmm. you know, the financial risk isn't as, right. you know. It's like, oh, I spent five thousand dollars to be self-published versus, mm-hmm. you know, a studio putting in fifty-five million into this movie and it flops. You know, right? I don't know, <laughs> but that's it. The end. Thanks for listening. No, We're on iTunes, no, Facebook. please wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I like Miss Marvel. I like that it kind of takes a page from Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. You know that it's. Um, you know, she's just a kid and um, kind of living in the the awe of the the super heroic events that are happening in their world. Mm-hmm. You know, because um, I mean, and, and it's important for Miss Marvel. You know, for, for at least for Kamala Khan anyway, because you know, because her whole thing is kind of based in hero worship, mm-hmm. or at least like the starting point. You know, so um, I think it's interesting, and it makes sense why they switch up the origin. You know, not doing the Inhuman mm-hmm. Terrigen mists. Yeah. Um, um, so th- it was a little weird when I didn't see her stretch, but making like crystal <laughs> projection. Crystal stretch things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, crystal stretch. That could be a superhero name. Yeah, I mean, like crystal visually, stretch. it looks really cool. So I wasn't really, I wasn't really upset about it, but you know. No, yeah. it's just. Uh, I think Angela was a little concerned that um, that. And this is before episode two, spoiler mm-hmm. alerts, where I, th- I think she was afraid that, like, it was all going to come from the power of the bracelet, mm-hmm. you know, and, and it was going to be like a, there's a word that she used, I can't remember it. And is, even it if Mag- I did, is it MacGuffin? Person, I shouldn't... Not MacGuffin. Last I heard, MacGuffin wasn't racist. This word might potentially be, like, I, I, I think, I'll make sure to get this on the next episode, but mm-hmm. but it was basically kind of like, oh, like you have like a POC character who has something tied to their culture, mm-hmm. and it has all these mystical powers. Mm, yeah, yeah, kind of like, like, like mystical like, amulets. Like, 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 yeah. Yeah, like, oh, like, is this bracelet belong to a fucking genie or something? Yeah. Like, you know, like, is it like granting wishes? Mm-hmm. Like, I think that was her concern, which I can appreciate, mm-hmm. you know, um... 
because there's obviously a right way and a wrong way of doing it. Shang Chi yeah. was the right way of doing it. You yeah. Know? Uh, but I liked in the second episode they said like was it her buddy figured out that the power is not coming from the bracelet like it's coming from her yeah so and Angel's like that's better I guess yeah. like it's I don't know I mean I feel like for not... this show in particular like that is so like culture centric I think it's okay you can kind of get away with it but um yeah, yeah. but that's my personal opinion so, I mean no of course of course I'm white I don't have opinions yeah. No. I just I just force them on other people. No, <laughs> um, but no, I mean that's <laughs> um, I um I mean I get what she's saying. I mean I because it's weird because I feel like doing the inhuman origin would be a lot because then you have to explain inhumans yeah. and the mist mm-hmm. and um. Did you play the Avengers game? I did. I I kind of like how they did that with her. Um, I mean it was still you know like a, a mist but something going wrong at like the avengers day con yeah and that's kind of like adapted here with the, with the convention and the show the, yeah, yeah i honestly thought that maybe that's what they were doing mm-hmm. that like something was going to happen and you know yeah or at least kind of based off of the trailers that i saw yeah. um i loved her in the game she was such i a great love character. i did too that game i already was a kamala khan fan but that game really made me kind of really fall in love with that character mm-hmm. um so um yeah that was a fun game i i, I should i should revisit that it changed a um, lot i played like when it first came out and like it was uh pretty rough and then like they kind of made some improvements and they also kind of like paywalled some stuff it's like a whole if you go like the the, the adventures reddit it's like a whole like you know shitstorm well i i remember it i remember there was a lot of hype around the game and then when it came out Mm -hmm. there was a lot of negative Mm -hmm. i'm not even a big video game guy so for me to hear about it yeah seems like whoa um but i think by the time i got around to playing it Mm -hmm. um it was fun my only real gripe about the game is i just hate how captain america looks i hate hate that it's like riot gear oh yeah that's kind of it's a little, you know what I mean? That's little like, that's like the you know, I mean, I, yeah, yeah, I just, I was like, nah. so that's why when I had some money, one of the first things I did was like, I'm gonna buy a new skin. Yeah, I didn't even think of it. I didn't even think of it as right gear. <laughs> you mentioned it, I'm like, oh, <laughs> Oof. right, and it was just like, you know, I mean, just with everything that was going on, I mean, because yeah. it came out like, well, I think I was working from home, right? It came out in 2020, didn't it? Yeah, 2020. Yep. So I'm thinking. You know, we weren't really happy with the police. Mm-hmm. You know, it was just like, not my Cap. Cap is, you know, he's not like that. Yeah. But otherwise, so like, I liked Thor. I liked Black Widow. Um, you know, um, you know, I thought Hulk was fine. Yeah, um, I like playing as Ms. Yeah, my- Marvel and I guess Thor because I like kind of like walloping stuff. <laughs> yeah, totally. Like, um, Kamala's power is yeah, really soon, cool was, because he's kind of like meat hammers everyone. Oh my god, I yeah. loved, yeah, I love playing as her, especially when when that giant Kree sentry yeah. comes up out of the ground. Like mm-hmm. that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, as soon as I could, I, I think what I actually did was um, I got the End Game cap skin. Oh, that's like my favorite MCU costume. I wonder if I can get it still. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I don't know. It's been a while since I've turned down my PS4. When it but, first came out, I got I did, like, was... the five gum promotions. And I would buy like ten packs. And I would like use all the codes. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing good. Girl, <laughs> I got nothing good out of it's it. It's funny you mentioned that because I did the exact same thing. Yeah, and it's like shit. <laughs> yeah, just like name. I plates. mean, the gum was great. Yeah, it was delicious. <laughs> but the prizes were. Oh, that's, lame. that's hilarious that you that you did that. Yeah, yeah. I remember I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna put down twenty bucks. Mm-hmm whatever like i'm, I'm getting the skin because it looks great in the game mm-hmm. it's better than the fucking yeah the riot gear cap um so yeah the end game costume with like the the chain mail and everything mm-hmm. so yeah but no but back to kamala khan i was kind of hoping you know that they were gonna kind of go that route with their origin but i mean but you know it's two episodes in yeah right it's I mean, it's too early to tell. Yeah, there I was love a rumor. Cast. I did read a random rumor that the bracelet, like, is that, and, like, the crystals are actually Terrigen crystals, and, like, at the end, it might, like, explode and, like, release the mist. I'm like, that's pretty cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah. I was wondering, too, if um if the bracelet had any kind of ties to the Ten Rings. Mm, 
That'd be cool too. Yeah. They're maybe the Ten Rings can have some inhuman link. Yeah, because yeah, or they're very vague about it in the movie. I'm like, all right. I mean, yeah, they were like, they were like, oh, it, this shit is old as time. Yep. There's a signal that nobody recognizes. Banner doesn't know Captain mm-hmm. Marvel. So who knows? Maybe the bracelet could be linked to that, and they in turn could be linked to the Mists or the Eternals, or I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, but I like that idea though, because yeah, because I mean, if it's like the Terrigen crystals, mm-hmm. that's beautiful. I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So why not? It could be a thing we could see in our lifetime. Yeah, she might actually get her you know comic book accurate powers after that. So. Yeah, Angela thought that maybe like 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 they she was afraid like well, was she gonna look too much like reed richards when he finally comes around yeah, but um but i was like i don't know i mean What's wrong with the beauty the but what i like well but that's about to say that's one thing i really like about comic books especially like with like mutations or accidents that like you can have people you can have different characters have the same ability yeah and it's like and one it makes sense because i mean how many different powers can you think of right you know and two i mean I don't know. I just, I, I, I just think it opens up more doors story wise. Like yeah. especially, can you imagine if they did like a slice of life, like X Men comic where like, I don't know, like I mean, there's like ten t- like psychics not on only... that team. <laughs> I mean, yeah. uh, right, and also too, just like like, uh, I'm already alone because I'm a mutant, or mm-hmm. I already feel alone because I'm a mutant, mm-hmm. and I feel alone because I'm a mutant with this power. Oh, and I find somebody who has the exact same thing that I do. Yeah, that'd be great. And go on misadventures, you know. Mm-hmm. Just trying to navigate life, and worst of all, navigating hormones and being a teenager and write the you script. Got your bestie, write the script. <laughs> <laughs> it would have to be pre Krakoa, I think, mm-hmm. but doable. Well, actually, Krakoa has um, a really interesting spin on that. Like the fact that some mutants do have like separate powers. I mean, similar powers. Like, they do these things called mutant circuits where, like, they um, basically all combine their powers to make one thing. And, like, the idea is that you have people with similar powers in order to act as a redundancy in case, like, you know, the original dies or something like that. So, like, it's kind of cool. Oh, they, that's cool. They're, yeah. That's really cool. I am I'm, I have to admit, I'm a little behind on X-Men. Oh, sorry. Spoilers. Um, um, no. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's totally cool. I mean, last I left off, Cyclops faked his death. Okay. You're pretty far along, then. That's, like, the... Adjective list? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't spoil that for you, did I? No, no, no. I kind of okay. read that indirectly. You froze? No, no, no. I read that indirectly because okay. like, he had he, to, like, a, it, was <laughs> it was like cover the secret of resurrection so they could, he couldn't do it. Right, but, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. No, it was funny because when I said, I didn't ruin it for you, did I? And <laughs> your screen froze. Uh huh. And it was mid, like, and I was like, oh my God, I just fucking What have I done? <laughs> Oh no! Yeah. Um. But yeah. So yeah, I'm not like that far behind. But it's it's, it's been a couple of months since the Amazon or the Comicsology upgrade. I have thing, not been it, back since like a, <laughs> that episode. You trashed trash. it. Yeah. Yeah. So I've had to like. Now I guess I'm just I I guess I'm just going through like the actual Marvel app. Oh wow! It drove you back is, to oh, the mothership. Wow. It did. It did. But I'm racking up some points on the on the Marvel Unlimited. Um, website. Nice. I am at the highest tier. Do you get like I'm a stickers true believer. or something or stationery? Uh, no, but there is things you can get with your reward points though. Mm-hmm. Like you can get like um, uh, like you know, free comic books or mm-hmm. like free um, uh, like wallpapers you can use. Like you, they, they'll give you like a social media pack. It's like oh, you can use this for like your uh your profile picture or your your banner That's cool. or whatever. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know, I, I like, it feels like I'm doing something with my life. I feel like I'm accomplishing something. Yay. <laughs> I'm at the highest tier. <laughs> I'm a valued Aren't you customer. proud of me now? I am always proud of you. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm going to, thank you. I'm actually pulling up the rewards right now oh, on sweet. Marvel Unlimited, so let's see what I could do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm browsing Comicsology to see how much worse it is, or how much better it is, actually. Yeah. So they brought the comic yeah, deals so page back, little... that's good. Oh really? Okay, it's been a while since I've checked. Yeah, because I could not they did that. could not find that the first time. No, it was hard. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so there's all like the digital things like you can get like digital wallpaper, digital packs, like I mentioned, like profile pictures, mm-hmm. and it's like different comics, like different um, 
you know, um, characters. Um, and then you can get like, um, like you can get like um, like character bundles. Like I, I also play Contest of Champions, so you can get like um, you know like a star like a starter bundle with different like character shards um, or like different crystals to boost your you know um, your character's abilities. Um, and then there's like yeah digital comic bundles, um, which I don't really use all that often just because I. I don't know. Like I'm already on unlimited. I don't like really need to use the points since if they're, like if they're already in mm-hmm. the app. But twenty five percent off of Marvel's Black Panther: Sins of the King on cereal box. I don't know what that means, but sounds great. Cool. So yeah, that's just little things. But uh, but yeah, but I do like though that every time they renew your um, subscription, like you'll get like a box in the mail, and it's like. It's like it's like a it's like a goodie box. Oh, like, um, yeah. I thought I had one. Oh yeah, I do. Here, I'll show you. This is the one from last year. For those of you who can't see, I don't know what to tell you, but this was the. Um, oh. Just so, like, yeah, this like this is the Marvel Limited, and it was the X Men, Krakoa theme, you know, and you get, um, like this like that year I got like a patch Ooh. uh i and i got like um you know sometimes you'll get like i like i, I i've said a lot of these like patches i just kind of put them all in one box and you get like different like um variant covers to Ooh. to certain books that like marvel unlimited only um and, and of course my thing because you know how much i love my action figures marvel legends there's always like a, a marvel unlimited marvel legends um exclusive Very nice. uh, like one year it was yeah one year it was like frank castle as venom so it was like the venom symbol and the punisher skull uh all in one this year well technically yeah this year it's um it's kitty pride from the marauders mm-hmm. and she's got like the band-aid on her nose nice Iconic. So, indeed. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what that's 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 uh, that's what that's what you get. Yeah. No, yeah. sounds great. Thanks for selling me on um, that. That was pretty awesome. I think it's worth it. You ha- you have access to so, like, remember how I was reading all those X Men books? Like, I read every single issue of Uncanny X Men from like 1963 to like 2011, and. Yeah, I mean, all of that was like free with my subscription. You wow. know, like I'm reading, like they, like the the back catalog is is incredible. Like, yeah, it's just it's just awesome. Like it, it's just cool to like see, like, huh? I wonder how, you know, what were the '70s Spider-Man comic books like? And they like have like all of them, and they're all they're all digitized, and it's really cool. And they're really good about. Um, releasing current stuff like i think like a lot of the newer stuff that comes out is like comics that came out last month oh wow that's so really it's like yeah. Y- yeah so i mean it's like it's like in theory like i i like i wouldn't like necessarily have to buy new issues of the x-men if i just like wait and then i can read it on you know yeah marvel unlimited yeah i think for the yearly subscription i think it's like a 100 bucks but i think it's worth it because i feel like I, I i i don't know i feel like i'm on the marvel app all the time and again marvel if you're listening and you want to sponsor this episode Mm -hmm, please (laughs) because i'm giving you i'm giving you some free um advertising so yeah we're gonna tell that (laughs) homeboy homeboy (laughs) i suppose we're already coming up on the 40 minute mark should we do like a two-parter oh sure (laughs) like stop here and then do like a do like a we'll do a we're gonna do a doctor strange review so, I mean, I don't think we can do it in 20 minutes, or I don't know. Angela says we should be doing shorter episodes. Okay. So I don't know if... I mean, I mean, it works. I mean, content's content, so... Yeah. Tis true, Horatio. Uh, yeah, so how about this? Um, we'll push pause, and then we'll, 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 we'll do a Doctor Strange episode. Um, <clears throat> in the meantime, for this episode, anything you want to promote, anything you're reading, watching... Um, what have I been watching? Um, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Lots of anime. I'm, like, so behind in anime. 
watch My Hero Academia um, for shows. I am so behind in Stranger Things. I'm still in season two, like episode five. I'm so oh, I'm man. so embarrassed. Please don't beat me up, listeners. Um, but I am no, trying to never. catch up on that. Um, I also forgot the boys premiered like a couple of weeks ago, so I gotta also catch up. I'm on behind that. on the boys too, so yeah. you're okay. So lots of me being behind, so. but that's what I'm currently interested in. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the theme of this podcast right now. I mean, we're behind on recording, so yeah, it makes sense you'd be behind on other up. things too. So. Yeah, because I, too, have not watched The Boys yet. But I did start watching um, the new Star Trek show. It was a Star Trek New World. Oh, Strange New Worlds. I saw the first episode of that, and I really liked it. I did, too. I did, too. Um, so I think I'm like I'm like one or two weeks behind. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. Mm-hmm. And I like that it's um, it's like a prequel because it's Captain Pike. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's, it's, so it's before Kirk... But I like that Spock is there. Yeah, and Pike is Anson Mount, who you know, is, so. um, who's Black Bolt in the um, in humans. That's true. And Doctor Strange. That's true. Yeah. Doctor Strange. Which stay tuned. Yeah. We're gonna check it out. That was probably the fastest what you've been reading, what you've been watching. <laughs> yes. So we can just dive into recording the next one. Uh, yeah. So you all know the drill. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Have fun exploring the multiverse, y'all. We'll be back soon.